Hi everyone, my name is Izzy Swan. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today is not a build video. Today is more about the space. For those of you who've been watching my videos over the past few months, you've seen a lot of changes in the uh, workshop here. And I want to talk a little bit about that and share an experience I went through about a week and a half ago where we went up to Kling Sports Woodworking Shop to get a bunch of equipment with a bunch of my friends to outfit the space. So what I'm doing here is not just creating a workshop for myself, but I'm creating a, what I'm calling the Maker's Playground. Uh, this is really a space for content creators and, and makers to come and, and make videos and, and do crazy projects and just have a great time. So that's really what I'm doing here. It's not just a me space. This is a, a maker space and I'm calling it the Maker's Playground. So when I explained what I was doing to Kling Sports Woodworking Shop and asked for their help, they just they jumped right on board and it's been a really cool experience working with them. Now I've known Kling Sport for a while. I bought their sandpaper for quite some time, but I didn't know a whole lot more about them. And over the course of the last seven months or so, really getting to know these guys, I gotta tell you, I am more impressed with them than I am in any other tool company I've ever dealt with. After explaining to them what I was doing with this space, uh, they provided me with some really nice equipment. And the thought behind that is because I'm doing this and I'm opening this up to more than just my more people than just myself, I really need to have safe and updated equipment for people to use while they're here. This was a really cool experience and I really wanted to share it with everybody out there. Uh, we take a little road trip, me and some friends, take a little road trip up to Klingspore. I'll show you around there a little bit, pick up the tools, come back and then we'll set them up. And um, I recorded a video of it, so let's watch that. So two years ago today, I started thinking about putting together a makerspace or just a place for makers to get together and have fun. And I am super, super pleased to announce that in just a few short weeks, we'll be opening the doors to what I'm calling the Maker's Playground. Now I'm proud to say that I've partnered with Klingspore Woodworking Shop, and today I've got some friends together. We're headed up to Klingspore to pick up a bunch of tools to outfit the space. This is gonna be fun, guys. Stick around. You guys ready? ready. Yep. Set. on a good uh the can't do a camera much <laughs> bigger hey put that thing away you have a nicer camera than I do you should probably take the lens cap off <laughs> dually camera look, look behind you best sandpaper ever hey I've got one of those when we got there, the Klingspore folks were great. Mike showed us around. He let us in the warehouse. It was a pretty good sized warehouse with tons of products. And of course, we looked at all the tools they picked out for us to bring back to the shop. And then we headed through into the um, actual retail space of Klingspore at their Hickory, North Carolina location and acted like a bunch of hooligans. Thank you very much, um, Coleman and Mike, for putting up with us. We really appreciate you guys. Megan, do you have Clinks Sports and Paper in your shop? Yes, I do. Mike? I don't. Lies. <laughs> I do. So you guys work with a lot of brands. Yes. How many vendors do you work with? 300. You guys also ship international? We do ship international. That's crazy. What's the best way, if someone's interested, from into international, just to send an email or to... Call us at our 800-228-0000 and talk with one of our customer service reps. That is awesome. 
all y'all here. What do you do at Clink Sport? Excuse me, sir. What do you do at Clink Sport? What are you doing back here? No, this is special permission only back here. I clean the floors. Oh, you can stay. <laughs> Now, I had no idea they had this size of a retail space, and um, this was a surprise to me. And when we, I wish I had more time in this video to show you guys everything because there is a ton of stuff. But unfortunately, because we, you know, unless I want to make this an hour-long program, uh, we're just going to run through a lot of what they had in high speed. What are you doing? Your stories. You're Instagramming for me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mike, how many stores do you guys have? We have four retail stores. We have four throughout North Carolina. Where's, where's the newest one? Newest one's in Asheville. Yeah. Uh, then we also reopened our Raleigh store, now located in Cary, North Carolina. Very cool. How big is this space? What is it, 6,000, 7,000? 6, 6,000 square feet. This was, uh, we've been here since 1996 in this building. Why does this guy have a job? Because I was, I hired him. Oh, my. He on a bridge and he felt sorry for me. <laughs> we terrorized the employees there. We're sorry, or at least I am. But everybody took it in good fun. Uh, like I can't say enough good about the people that they have hired and that work there. All really good folks and hard workers. Yeah. Do you have any warrants for your arrest? No. Are you wanted by America's Most Wanted? No. Don't think so. Do you run them? Do you run the uh, warehouse? Yes, sir. Okay. So you make sure every stuff, all the stuff gets shipped out. I'm praying. All right. So if it doesn't get shipped out, guys, you know what he looks like now. <laughs> My wood. There we go. Don't touch my wood. <laughs> wood. That's what guys, if you're into carving, I got a huge selection. Are you guys compensating for something? Look at that thing, it's huge. <laughs> So, is this your first time in a clean sport? Yes. Is it really? Yes. What do you think? It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yes. It is big. And I found the biggest. What'd you get? Ooh. Don't have one of those. And the righty left. You and get another one. Best take. So, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Um, clean sport does not put a lot of money into bells and whistles. But when you go there, across the board, looking at all the products, on an average, most of their prices were anywhere from 5 to 10% lower than what I'm accustomed to seeing at other dedicated woodworking places like, like Klingsport. So great pricing, great people, and I can't say this enough about them. Their customer service is just insane. They are amazing. So I definitely encourage you guys to go check them out. Measure ever. You lose them. You need them. <laughs> <laughs> I take one of those, one of those, one of these. The best wood filler on planet Earth. Does that seem over the top? I hope so, because it is. So, Clingsport, thank you for letting us run amok in your stores, and definitely thank you very much for helping us out with the new uh, Maker's Playground tools. It's much appreciated. Once we got back to the shop, everybody jumped on a tool and started putting everything together. Congrats! Let's make this happen. Let's to break make, something! To make your space, whatever, yeah, let's do walk. Playground. Yeah, that place. Right, you like them down? <laughs> 
So big thank you to Megan from Sweet Aloha Designs over on Instagram, uh, to my podcast mates Mike and Joel, and to Gary who flew all the way from Utah to help out, and of course Frank, uh, thank you so much for your help, and Matt as well. Um, I can't hope I didn't miss anybody. There's a whole bunch of people coming and going. I really appreciated all the help that they came in. Literally set up all these tools in an evening. I read that warning label first. Since I was too tired to do a happy boy dance, my daughter did it for me. So when we went up to pick up the tools, one of the tools that I was getting wasn't there and Clingsport was awesome enough to literally drive it all the way down here, which is a two hour drive, it's a hike, and help me set it up. So Mike and Coleman, thank you so much for doing that. While they were here, we actually recorded a video about their sandpaper, which was my idea. They have an amazing product line of sandpaper and I'll be sharing that in the future here on this channel and other places as well. And if, when you see that pop up, I highly encourage you to watch it. Lots and lots of valuable information in that video. So this was really an amazing experience to have everybody come together, working with Clingsport, getting all the tools set up in the shop. And it is, it's such a great feeling to have such a wonderful space with all of this amazing equipment. And I can't wait to share it with all the makers and content creators that come to Makers Playground. Now I'll be releasing more information about that when the website gets finished and there's a few other things that we need to finish up here and I'll do a complete shop tour, share the equipment you know, with you at that point and talk a little bit more about that as well. So. Big hats off to uh, Klingspor for all the energy and effort they put into this. The agreement I have with them is that they would help outfit the shop and I would do 12 dedicated videos throughout the year for them about interesting products that they carry or perhaps sandpaper or different things. So again, it was absolutely my pleasure to do this for them and work with them and um, thank you guys so much. You guys are rock stars over at Klingspor's woodworking shop as far as I'm concerned. So come, if you are interested in some of the stuff that what's going on here, check out the links in the description box below. Uh, we'll be adding, again, more information about Maker's Playground the further we get down. We're just a few sheets, we're just a couple short weeks away from opening the doors here at Maker's Playground to content creators. And we will also be giving classes for general public. And I think our first class will probably be around April, and that's going to be 3D to CNC, where we teach the entire process of using a CNC, starting at the 3D modeling the intermediate code, the, the stuff that you have to do in the middle with G-coding and right straight to the machine and how to properly hold down, set up a machine and all that stuff. So that's look, you can look forward to that. Again, once the website is all finished, I will promote that and you can find more information about the Maker's Playground there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you more than you know and I can't wait 
for all the crazy fun and wild stuff happening in 2019. See you guys next time.